Welcome back to the bench. Uh, today, what we've got is a pair of Bluetooth um, headphones for repair. The right side, which has the controls and presumably the battery, um, all works fine, but there is no audio out of the uh, left hand side. So chances are it's just a broken cable somewhere. Um, main places to look are the joints um, when they're actually opened it is actually exposed I don't know if you can see that there's a wire running down just there you can just see it just between those two pieces that side looks okay and this side also looks okay so maybe it's inside somewhere in the unit so let's see if we can get this open there's a number of screws down here Ooh, how does this pad come off there's two screws at the top maybe then it's just clipped on but then how would you get that off unless the back side clips off or oh, the screws maybe just for the hinge well, we'll take them out and we'll see what happens. Uh, small enough to get in there. Oh, that's a bit too big. I'll try a smaller driver. Yep. Does anything come loose? No, nope. seems to be pretty solid. That pivots on there. Maybe you have to get inside to here first in order to take this off to then get access to the rest. Don't see any screws down the back side of here, but I could be wrong. Is there a screw hole there? No, it's just a piece of fluff. There are only two screws in there. Ah, there we go. It's just clipped in. Let's get some spudges. Get in there gently. Let's try it on the other side. Oh yeah, and it's also part of the hinge as well. So yeah, it's just clipped on this side. But that bit's pretty hard. Hmm. So there could be some kind of screw. Oh, it's just another clip. Let's just try something a bit thinner. Okay, and interestingly, the battery is in this side, in the left side. I would have thought that would have been on the right hand side. What have we got here? 3.3 volts, 220 milliamp hours. Interesting. Okay, so we've actually got an audio input jack here. It seems to be quite firmly held on at the moment. Okay, and the wire appears to be intact. Although there could be a break somewhere where this joint is, or where that joint is. So we're going to have to probably buzz it out, but in order to do that, we're going to have to get this out, I think. Yeah. It's just clipped in there. 
Okay, so there's for our battery, and there is the cable going to our actual headphone. Let me check these ones first. Yep, they appear to be intact, but I'm going to have to get this side open so that I can put a meter across it and see if there's any continuity down to there. Okay, so now we know how to get into it. It should be pretty simple to get into the other side. I'm hoping it's not the cable across the top because it's actually quite a uh, complex cable because it looks like there's several connections in there. So you've got power coming over. And then you've got the audio as well. Because obviously the input jack for the audio is on this side. It's going to have to send left and right over to this, and then back for the left. Right. And this is going to be a bit more complex because it's got these buttons on here. They're probably all going to be moulded into the one piece, but you never know. No, nope, it's not. So they're in separate moulding. Yep, yeah, and there's a couple of screws down there. So these probably then just clip off so they can get to the screws, otherwise there's no other way of getting in there. Yeah, so this whole piece here is just one piece. There's no other screws down there. Oh, there is something here. That's probably for an LED. Let's see if we can just pry this off. Yeah. back on. <laughs> awesome. So oh, yeah, now we can access these two screws. Right, they're different to the other ones, by the looks of it. Nah. Yeah, they're flat-ended, whereas the other ones are pointed. Right, let's see if we can gently lift this module out. It probably clips onto here as well. So we can get a fingernail under there. No, that's well sealed in. Yeah, it's just clipped in very well. Okay. Oh, that's actually a microphone. I thought it was an LED port. Okay, well at least we've got easy access to our wires. We just gotta figure out which one is for the left speaker. Okay. Entering continuity mode. Yup. Okay. Now it does look like these are marked, but the writing on there is so small. I'm not sure if my old eyes can see that properly. Okay, so yeah, we've got battery. We obviously know battery is working. And then we've got 
which looks like ID, left, right, and then the other one's going to be ground. ID. Not sure what ID means, but we'll have a look. Okay, so we'll look at the other side, and then ground, right, left. Then you have an ID, and then looks like battery and ground. Okay. So fingers crossed the problem is not with the this little wiring because yeah, getting hold of some of that wire to replace it would probably be nigh on impossible. It looks like it's a special wire. Okay, so there's the left, and there's the left. So that is working. You the right. That's working. The ground. There's no continuity there. Interesting. But this one also says ground here. Interesting. So it says that the left and right cable is fine, but the ground is not connected. This is probably going to be a ground here. So there's our ground wire. Okay. And then we've got a battery and a battery ground, which I presume is going to be here to here. The problem seems to be there's no ground. So that must mean the cable is damaged somewhere. Chance for that, unfortunately. Not without a replacement cable. So, Let's see if we can get into this hinge section. It appears to be glued on, or is it just 
where the screw, no, it's just where the screws have gone through it. Kind of molded it into the uh, plastic. Well, there's ample length that goes in and out. Hinge off and see if there's any damage to the wire. Pretty much all the same type of screw, more or less, which is good. Okay, so that actually goes through the hinge. And there's a plastic cover on. Just I'm not sure it's really easy enough to pop that out of there. Okay, I see. Bring it closer. Yeah. Well, you can see it. I don't focus on there, but right there, there's a split in the wiring. So let's see if we can get this hinge apart and get a better look at it. Must come apart somehow. Uh, it's a pin right through there, right through the plastic. So I don't think this is going to be easy to get open. I can get some solder and some shrink wrap on it, but uh, yeah, for that I'd have to desolder all that. Hmm, that might be a bit difficult. That looks like it slid slid into there. So maybe that pin was put in afterwards. Maybe I can push that pin out on the hinge. Yes, I can. I shouldn't really use snippers for this, but needs must. Okay, that's half of our hinge. And there is the other part. Quite a neat design. So yeah, that was threaded through the plastic by the looks of it. Before it was soldered on. Let's just get this out of here. Oh. Yeah, and yeah. That's not going to be pretty. I think it's been squashed in there for so long. The whole wire is just kind of, the insulation is just kind of adhered to the plastic. Okay, yep. Yeah. So you can see there's our damage. And this is why our left headset is not working. Focus. Can you focus on that? No, it doesn't seem to want to focus. Okay. 
Let's see if we can zoom in. Yeah, you can see that better now. So yeah, the insulation is just worn out and it's worn through the uh, ground wire. So we'll see if we can fix it. If not, it means it needs a new piece of cable, and that is a uh, job for an eBay search. So. It looks like this repair is going to turn into a two-parter as long as I can um, get that cable from somewhere. So the other interesting thing I just uh, wanted to check out was um, when I peeled off the uh, cover for the left-hand side, it has this little chip. It has two connectors on it and a coil, but it doesn't actually connect to anything. Because if you look in here, it's my meter just switching off. If you look in here, we have the jack and the battery and then just cables. And that would have been on like this. So there's actually nothing that can be connected to that. So that must be an RIFD tag um, for security. You can see it's just been stuck in there. And that way they can track you. Some kind of near field, maybe. Yeah, it could be that it's also for auto pairing. Maybe you just hold it next to your iPhone. Let's actually just check that out. Because I do have an RFID reader app on here. Scan and show. There we go. So it's identified our Bluetooth device, EP650, MAC address, audio visual. So yeah, that is indeed an NFC tag. Neat. Sure, that's what that symbol means. But you know, that's just for auto pairing, I'm guessing, with an or uh, iPhone. Anyway, this is definitely going to turn into a two parter, so I will uh, hopefully get back to you with part two of this repair. And um, once I've managed to get hold of the cable, because that's not going to be fixable. So, yeah, this is a six core cable. Nice. I'll have some fun fixing that. Okay. So, it's bye bye from me. And uh, if you uh, like this video, then, you know, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to get notified of when I upload new videos, then hit the bell.